All right, so we're back, and before we start programming, <clears throat> we're actually going to try some of these demos out. Now, we were trying them out by ourselves here without the video, but we couldn't get them working, so we're just going to keep trying here on the video and see what happens. <clears throat> so basically, there are eight pre-programmed demos. We have light sensors, light seeking behavior, object detection, avoiding objects, line sensor, line following, scribbler behavior, and ambulance behavior. I'm not really sure what the ambulance behavior is, but it looks interesting. So we're not going to really do the light sensor one because the light sensor one is just default. All you do is turn it on and the LEDs change. Um, it's not too interesting. So let's do object detection. So it says, basically, step one, while covering the center sensor, this one here, press and release the reset button. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to wait for the tone, wait for all the LEDs to light up, which basically takes you into the demo one, which is the uh, ambient light demo. Basically, these LEDs light up here based off the amount of light. If I cover these up, as you can see, they turn off. If I show one, the middle one, and so on and so forth. So just for those of you who didn't see that, here are the LEDs. Let's see if I can show you that. I'm going to cover up two. So out of the box, it's doing this. I haven't programmed anything yet. So object detection. So basically it says hold down or cover up the middle sensor here. The Let's see which one is it here. Yep. The center light sensor, which is this one here. And press and release the reset button. Then step two is when you hear the beep, uncover the light sensor. So I'm going to press and release. I heard the beep. Now let me uncover it. Okay, now we have some little tone there. Now this is supposed to be object detection. says here step three is to place an object so I'm just placing an object here let me turn it like so placing an object there so basically this isn't working for us for some reason all the LEDs are on not seeing it. So let's try that again. Okay, well, you know what? I am seeing something here. The LEDs are changing when something comes in range. It's just hard to tell. Well, let's try avoiding objects. This one shows that it doesn't move. So let's try this one. So step two, step one is we got to cover up these. So the right and the center light sensors, and press and release the reset button. Now it says wait for the beep. Uncover the light sensors. We had a beep. I see two red lights on. Let's turn this off. Turn it back on. All right, so I'm going to cover these up again. We're in demo one. There's the beep, uncover. So 
it's, a, it's supposed to drive around here. This almost sounds like ambulance mode. It's making a weird ambulance sound here. That's all three. Hmm. Let's try this again. So, according to the picture, we got to cover up the center and the right light sensor. So let's do it again. Covering it up really well this time. Okay. There it goes. So we've got some motion here. So as you can see, this is actually doing the demo as we expected. Gets a little confused as it goes over here. So we tested that one, that one worked pretty well. Let's see here, we got a line sensor, line following behavior, scribbler behavior. So let's just get a scrap piece of paper here. Kind of curious to see what this is all about. I'm gonna grab a marker. Let's hope it doesn't go crazy and mess up my, uh, my table here. So there's the marker. Now, okay, so we've put it on a piece of paper. They say I put it on the floor, we're not, we're just gonna put it on the piece of paper. Um, that's step one, two, and three. Get the paper, get the pen, put it on the paper. Now it says here, while covering up the left and the center, press and release the reset button. So I'm gonna cover up this one. Press and release. There's the beep. So it looks like I think it uh, might be scribbling something for me. It's supposed to make a figure eight. So it definitely looks like it's moving in a figure eight pattern. Now it says if I pick it up and I put it down it'll draw a square for me. So that tested that. Let's see how good it came out. So it didn't draw the complete square because I didn't put it down fast enough, but it did draw the figure eight and it drew most of the square. That's scribbling. So that was pretty cool. Now again, these are all demos. I haven't programmed anything yet. Now, let's try out demo eight. This one is called Ambulance Behavior. So basically it says, the Scribbler 2 drives around, blaring its sirens and flashing its lights while avoiding walls and obstacles. So let's see how well it does that. In this case, we're gonna have to cover all three holes and hit the reset button. We heard the beep, take it off.
So that's just us tinkering around with this little sucker and doing a little demos. As you can see, it works pretty well. Um, some of them are a little quirky and maybe you need more space than this just little area that we have here. Um, next video we'll show, we'll actually tinker around, maybe do some programming and see what we can and can't do. Um, according to the manual, I believe we have to go ahead and download something. And let's see here, yep, sure enough on page three, it says download the S2 graphical user interface for Windows at parallax.com. So we're going to check that out and uh, program some stuff and show it off in the next video. Take care and thanks for watching.